Hello everyone, I'm Gianmaria from Tilelook. In this video, I want to show you in practical terms all the functionalities about our 3D design software, the Tilelook 3D design software. I want to show you how I created this PDF draft estimate and uh, how to insert all this information about my project, about the uh, render images, the floor plans, the objects and tiles that I used. So to do so, I divide the process into seven easy steps and we're going to analyze each of these points step by step during this video. The first thing to do, of course, is to log in inside your design tool. I'm already logged in and I can proceed to the creation of a new project that I'm going to call demo. So for convenience, I'm going to skip the first steps and I'm going to start by analyzing what we see in the first interface. Obviously, the project in question is going to be very basic and its purpose is just to show in practical terms all the basic steps to render a bathroom in a few minutes. The first thing we see once logged in are two screens. The first one is the 2D version on the left side, which is the bigger one, and the 3D on the bottom right corner. At the top, we see the division into points that we discussed earlier. So let's start with create room section. Here we have two main elements that we need to focus on, the blue and red one. The blue points allows us to change the size of the room by simply moving our mouse. The red ones instead helps us to access to a more specific functionalities. The two screens of course are complementary and helps us move easily from one wall to another to make all the necessary changes. In this case, we manually adjust the room size to 220 height and 340 width. Now we select a wall and make a hole for a, a window. We're going to leave the standard measurements, but uh, I'm going to move 20 centimeters from the left and 40 from the floor. As you can see here, the same functionalities for the blue and red elements are applied and we can easily move the windows as we want inside the wall. So let's select another wall and make another hole for, in this case, for a door. In this case, I'm going to increase the height to 220 and I'm going to move it 30 centimeters from the left side. Now the third feature here allows us to add a 3D surface that we can use, for example, to divide the room into two separate spaces. We're going to click simply on the elevation uh, functionality and I'm going to enter the height of the wall to completely separate the two areas. Anyway, in this case, I'm not interested in this option and I'm going to delete every change I made about the subdivision of the room. So we're going to remove all of that and start over from uh, the second point, which is the subdivision of the surfaces. To apply this, um, this feature, we just need to select a wall and click on add 2D surface option. This feature is very useful. Uh, during the, the tiling uh, stage because uh, it uh, allows us to subdivide uh, in two areas in this case by applying uh, for example different tiles or styles uh, so we need to we are going to operate uh, in two different manners in two different places for example, many times uh, the subdivision of the surface is useful for the wall behind the, the shower box if, for example, we want to insert a mosaic. Let's move to the third point, which is the paint room. I'm going to be very quick about this step because um, it's just the, the features that uh, allow us to insert a certain color to a certain portion of our room. To do this, uh, we just need to create a new material and leave uh, all the existing ones unchanged. We need to click on edit and select a color and select, of course, the surface concern and insert the color itself. Also, in this case, we can remove the change. We need to remove the changes because we are not going to use this feature 
and we are going to move on to the position of the 3D models. This one is one of the most important functionalities uh, about uh, the 3D design software and tends to be the one that we spend many times in this part of the creation process. So it concerns the selection and positioning of 3D models in our project. By clicking on add model, we can select four methods to load the 3D models into the project itself. So the first one is the import from your own files, so external files that can be loaded easily inside the project. You can access the vast 3D warehouse from SketchUp, which includes a library with more than 3 million models, 3D models, or you can simply download it the, the, the 3D from another project. In this case, we're going to download the 3D models directly from the Tileook library. Today we have almost 30,000 model already uh, at your disposal that are divided by category. We can create uh, um, our own wish list by clicking on the hurt part of the product that we are interested in. So this will be saved in our customized list and we will uh, not have to search for it again in the general library in uh, future situations. So now we start by clicking, by selecting uh, uh, the items that we want to include inside our project. So I'm going to download a shower tray, a shower box, a wash basin, a lamp, a window, a door, a toilet and a bidet and also this one. We now start to insert the objects inside the, inside the project. So let's start from the window. We drag the object into the room and it will automatically position itself in the center of the room. So let me zoom uh, just one second on the bottom right uh, to show you all the possibilities of selecting the side and point of the object so that we can move and place it more easily in a selected spot. In this case, the bottom center point is perfect for placing the window in the hole. So let, uh, let me just modify the dimensions of the windows to match, um, to match the dimensions of the, of the hole that we had already created in the first step. I also remind you that the, the locks here serves to, to keep the image proportionate in case we need to change even one parameter of the object. So for convenience, I leave here a screen with the main commands for moving easily through the render. So at first, of course, our movements inside the project will be mechanical, but I can assure you that in short time, it will be really good at it and you can move uh, really fluently inside the project and create a render in a few easy steps. So let now move uh, to the insertion of other products. We just insert the VDAP. We are going to place it against the wall and raise it a few uh, centimeters of the ground and uh, there is a, a really helpful functionality that allows me to copy the position of the object and insert the toilet. In this way I will only have to move the object on a little bit on the left side and it will be perfectly aligned. Now I insert another model and I place it on the opposite side by rotating it 90 degrees. We also position the shower tray and at the right corner and uh, add the, the shower box. In this case, we need to modify the axis and dimension of the latter to match the size of the shower tray. In this case, as you may have noticed, I'm not working with a millimetric precision, but it gives just you a general idea of the great practicality of our software. 
let's add a lamp that I mistakenly removed from the project and also download a couple of accessories to improve the, the beauty of our bathroom. So we place the first accessory, um, one near the entrance and perhaps reduce uh, its size a little bit and put some towels uh, here next to the shower. Finally, let's add the, the lamp and make it more suitable for the size of the entire room. Last but not least, we can insert the door by attaching it directly to the hole we have already made. Let's move on to the other aspect, to the other point, which is the tiles layout. We are going to download some tiles directly from the huge catalog of uh, Tile Look. We have more than, more or less 300,000 tiles from more than 300 brands. And uh, we're just going to select, look for something specific uh, and I'm going to download. Also here you can insert some tile that you are interested in inside your personal wish list. I'm going to insert the floor tiles first. On the right side, we can access to a whole series of features regarding the, the tiles layout. And in this case, I'm just going to cover the entire floor surface with the same pattern and then move on to the first wall. I'm going just to alternate between two different products and finish filling the wall with the first tile and clicking and I'm going to click on apply. I am going to repeat more or less the same process in all the other walls. Now we are moving to the rendering phase in which we move around with our camera looking for strategic uh, points to take some pictures and uh, we can take as many as we want and we can proceed to the final stage of the process just by clicking on render on the bottom right corner. So once we have selected all the images that we are interested in to proceed with the render, we're going to select some specific uh, details about, uh, for example, the position of the sun, the time of the day and the degree of exposure. We can also load a background directly from those already available on Tile Look or uh, select uh, an external one from one of our files. In the advanced setting, we can select the number of render passes. Of course, the higher the number of passes, the higher the quality will be. But at the same time, the process will be much more longer if we are going to choose a higher number of passes. The render pass can be performed in two ways. The first is done using your own internal processor. This option is recommended uh, for those who have a really powerful computer suitable for high quality graphic renders. If you do not have a, a really good internal processor, you can use the tile look one. So in this case, you just need to select the cloud render options. And there you will get an estimate of the time it takes to tile look to process and render your project. In this case, as it shows here, it takes 13 minutes. Of course, another important aspect is to select the quality and size of your cameras. Our customers tend to render by using, by selecting the full HD display. But anyway, you can choose from this list and the one that is uh, suitable for you. As a final step, let's take a quick look at prices and quantities. In this form, we can edit all the data we want and perhaps enter some unit prices of the 3D models used inside the project or the tiles that you use in the project. 
in order to create an estimate a quote for the potential customer. Of course, then you can proceed with the download of a PDF, an Excel, an HTML, a CAD or a SketchUp file. Of course, if you need support, I would like to remind you that we have a wide range of free video tutorials available on YouTube or in our site, in our website, or you can contact us in any moment and we will get back to you as soon as possible.